http colon slash slash www.cosmicparadigm.com slash a-t-h-a-b-a-n-t-i-a-n slash Mark's Corner Perspective Posted on September 23rd, 2011 Greetings. Today I wish to discuss an important word, perspective. For it is in the way in which we see something that determines our belief about it, and, in turn, our intent, our desires, and our actions. So you see it all begins with perspective. Let us look at several examples of perspective in order to illustrate this. If I am seeing the world about me from a third dimension perspective, I will accept what the national media is saying. I will also accept the words of those who speak for our banking systems, our governments, our healthcare systems, and our religions. In turn I will feel that everything can be solved by politics, regulation, and security to maintain order, domestically and abroad. On the other hand, I may see politics as a way to restore my individual freedoms. In contrast to this, if I am seeing everything from a fifth dimension perspective, I will see that the game of the third dimension is a feudal exercise, one that is being managed by a small group for their benefit. If I have a fifth dimension perspective, I will be functioning in my life from a place of love and light. I will see other Earth humans as souls having a bodily experience. I will see Earth as a great soul who desires the very best for her human residents. And I will recognize that this planet is one among many. In fifth dimension I will be open to the idea of an assortment of beings who I cannot see living among us, beings living within the earth, and animals who already live in the fourth dimension that sacrifice their lives to teach me something about oneness. If I have the perspective that these times will continue into the foreseeable future, then I will feel little need to change anything in my life, other than buying the latest clothes, eating great food, and living well as a result of making lots of money, for I will see my personal wealth determining my status and comforts. If on the other hand I have a perspective that all is changing, I will live accordingly. If my perspective is that change will be accompanied by devastation and chaos, I will seek ways to live as a survivalist, seeking security in some underground hideout. Or I may welcome these changes for I see current conditions on Earth as unsustainable. Earth is undergoing changes to return herself to a beautiful pristine planet initially in fourth dimension status, then on to fifth dimension. Her wish is that as many of her human residents as possible accompany her. There is no scarcity of resources in a fourth or fifth dimension existence. There will be however a reorientation of all that is brought forward from the third dimension. For example, Moving from a petroleum-based civilization to a civilization wherein there is no more burning of fossil fuels, will change much in my life. If my perspective is that this will change immediately, it will cause me to act in one way. A belief that fossil fuels will be phased out gradually will lead me in a different direction. If my perspective is that time is collapsing, I will see that much can change in a very short time. If I am not open to this perspective, I will attempt to act as I have in the past despite all indications to the contrary. My perspective is the key to how I will act in the days and weeks ahead.
If my perspective sees the duality of the third dimension as a basis for action, then I will cling to my comfort zone, my status, my material wealth, and to seeking security. In addition while I may hear the words of others about earth changes, the collapse of man-made constructs, and the reality of our star brothers and sisters, I will ignore them because I am afraid to change. If my perspective is such that I hear the words of others about earth changes and the collapse of man-made constructs, but insist that they do not impact my life, then I am operating from fear of confronting the larger reality, fearful that I will be unable to return to my peaceful cocoon. In addition, if I fail to realize that all is one, then I also fail to realize that those whom I judge not to be part of my circumscribed world are in reality my brothers and sisters who are here to teach me something. If my perspective rests in oneness, I will embrace all, even those whom I judge as different. If my perspective rests in oneness, I will see the earth as my gracious host and will honor her and her plants and animals. If my perspective rests in oneness, I will see those from another world, or another dimension, as children of Creator just as am I. As you increase your vibration and broaden your perspective, you will find it increasingly easy to see all in oneness. As you increase your vibration you will move from the fourth dimension to the fifth dimension, and beyond. As you increase your vibration you will serve as a beacon for those of a slower vibration, guiding them to the wonders of the new earth to communion with their star brothers and sisters, and to reuniting with Creator. Once a fifth dimension perspective is internalized along with the corresponding vibration, many things will change. Things like money, status, and security, that you thought were important from your third dimension perspective will no longer have value. Things like oneness, relationships, freedom, peace, elegance, no good or bad, reverence, and functioning from your heart will manifest themselves and you will learn to live from this perspective. In truth, love and joy, Mark Gimmel comments. New one dot check out my most recent posting out of the mansion http colon slash slash cosmic paradigm dot com slash a-t-h-a-b-a-n-t-i-a-n slash 2. I gave a talk in Pagosa Springs, Colorado in January 2011. I believe it will answer many of your questions. Check it out at YouTube, in several parts. HTTP colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question V equals VNRG and TVGSGU ampersand feature equals related. 3. You may donate to my efforts by clicking on the donate button at the left. Many thanks to all who have contributed. 4. This material and that from Ithabanshan is being posted at several sites and is being translated into several languages. If you will send me the locations for these translations and postings I will publish them so that others may find their way to your site. For those who have already responded, thank you. I am waiting for a few more before posting the websites. 5. My three books of the Paradigm Trilogy, Drillion, Decimal, and One, are now available on Kindle at Amazon.com. You may also order them through your local bookstore. 6. The following book, Transformation, 
is available as an electronic book only at http colon slash slash www.cosmicparadigm.com slash books slash transformation slash for only three dollars and ninety five cents you can download the book to your computer where you can either read it at your leisure or print it out to order click on the image in the right hand column Two years of Mark's Corner organized by topic and author. All in the original words of Branton, Moraine, Justine, Adriel, and others. Posted in Transformation, Transition.